heart attack caused by a blockage of the blood vessel. When you check the blood, their blood vessel is actually normal. But they go into a series of chest pain, breathlessness, and features of heart failure. It's due to the overwhelming, overwhelming exposure to adrenaline. So the heart goes into overwhelmed, stressful condition. You know, when you go and see doctors, they say, doctors, I have palpitations. It means different things for different people. But let's go back to what is the normal heartbeat. Most of us don't feel it. When it goes out of the normal uh, conditions, like for example, you're sitting down quietly, suddenly your heart rate goes up to 150, you will feel it. So those are the abnormal awareness of one's heartbeat. It's, it's called palpitations. It can either be the heart is too fast, that's what most people feel. Or some people describe as having uh, skip beats. You know, the heart goes suddenly, you feel like missing beats. Or it could be an abnormal rhythm. It just go out of sync. It just go bro, 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 normal and then goes again. And some people feel it. How does it relate to sudden cardiac death? So all of those is actually is for some patient who have a condition called cardiac arrest. So cardiac arrest means the heart suddenly stopped or arrested. Typical example, you watch the Euro. So Ericsson suddenly collapsed in, in the middle of playing football. What happened in that moment of time, his heart suddenly go into uh, having abnormal or malignant heart rhythm, which lead to compromise of the blood pressure, and the brain just cease to function and they lose their consciousness. The good thing is about the resus people that come, Actually, with them, they brought the, we call it AED, or Automatic uh, External Defibrillator Device, which will help people with sudden cardiac arrest. The main treatment is to give cardioversions. And you can see one of the review when you look back at it, he suddenly have a joke. I think most likely they were given a cardiac defibrillation, and then he wakes up immediately after that. With a heart attack, they have chest pain, so they can complain, I had chest pain, I have pain, can you take me to the hospital? When people have palpitation with this abnormal malignant rhythm, they actually feel like sleepy or swimmy, and they just go off and drifted to sleep. But actually, the BP starts to drop, and then if you don't do anything, the heart will just stop. So that's why in about 40% of the patients, they had a bit of chest pain, they thought of muscle pain, take a bit of painkiller, go to sleep, they never wake up. Things like, you know, too much caffeine, or people drinking too much alcohol, or too much stress. All of those conditions actually create an environment which increase our stress hormone particularly with the adrenaline. And we know that caffeine and alcohol is actually a stimulant, even smoking. Sometimes that's why you, you, when you do that or you're under that influence, some people feel more alert or, or, or more focused. That's why some people say they have to smoke to stay focused. It's because of the nicotine and then the caffeine, like coffee, it makes you more, or brain cell more alert, or we are more active, more tentative. But the effect of that, if you had too much of that, then it can trigger these extra heartbeats or ectopic, which lead to people feel palpitations. So the typical example of things to look out for if you have palpitations that, that I described before. If you had had a heart attack before and then you had palpitations, you had either chest pain or feeling about to faint, you should go and seek medical help immediately because those are the recipe for sudden death.
people don't die when they had a heart attack. They don't die because of the heart suddenly fail. Because if anything, you probably had at most just one blood vessel blockage. But the environment when you had a heart attack, it trigger palpitations or this malignant cardiac rhythm, which lead to cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest means the heart ceases to function. Typically, it's triggered by this malignant uh, cardiac rhythm called ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillations. When the heart goes into that condition, it literally the heart will just beating very fast and there's no sequence to that. There will be less time for the blood to fill up the heart and the net effect will be a drop in the blood pressure. And by itself, it's, a, it's also compromised the circulation to the heart, which then goes into a vicious cycle. If you do not stop that, then patient will, the heart will just stop, i.e. patient will just then you know, die. One of the earlier treatment for people with palpitation is to avoid the, the trigger, i.e. foods or drinks or certain activities which is too much actually. <laughs> and it will help to reduce uh, the symptoms or reduce the palpitation. A lot of patients with a uh, pacemaker per se are those people who had a problem with the slower heartbeats. But there are also devices called uh, implantable cardiac defibrillator which is implanted under the skin and the wire goes inside the heart. And that device can detect whenever patient is having this malignant rhythm, they then will treat the patient wherever they are. So they will be with the patients 24-7. They could be in the middle of the jungle, could be somewhere in the island, which does not have the hospital. But if they have that device, it will save their life. Electrical cardioversion, a lot of people think it's a, it's a jump start. It's actually not. It's actually uh, when we deliver electrical energy to the heart, it resets all the electrical activity and hoping for the normal one to take over the, the usual function after that. So those devices is there to save people's life. If you develop or have feelings of abnormal heartbeats or in other words palpitations, go and see doctors. Uh, it might be a, a life-saving action on your behalf and there are things that we can do to treat that and certain conditions can be curable.